Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Silhouette Stamp Material. I got my box in the mail a couple of days ago, and I only got the stamp material because the special mat is not available yet. Now, I'm a rebel, so even though the box says plain as day on it, requires a perforated silhouette cutting mat, I'm still going to try to do it with a regular silhouette mat. And it may be a dismal failure, but we're going to see. Um, the stamp material is thin. I will say that right off the bat. It is thin. I don't know how it's going to stamp. I don't know how it's going to cut, but it is thin. You do get three sheets in the box and they measure approximately seven and a half inches by six inches. And I'm going to load this in the machine and see how it goes. Um, I will say the reason they claim you need the perforated mat is so that you don't get air bubbles underneath your, um, Underneath your stamp material, what I did is I applied the stamp material to my mat and I actually ran my scraper tool over it to make sure there was no air bubbles. And I'm also using a brand new mat. Brand spanking new. So I'm going to load this in the machine and we're going to see how it goes. As you can see, it cut just fine with the regular cutting mat. And I did baby it a little bit, but it cut cleanly using the recommended settings. And the stamp material is flimsy, and I actually kind of regret cutting a design this big because I had to finagle it for a while to get it so I could actually get it on a block because this is rather detailed. So I decided to go ahead and just cut the stamp apart so you guys could just get an overview of all the different options together on one sheet of paper. And I'll zoom in so it's easier to see. But... You can see that the nothing gives a super clear image. Here we have stays on, uh, stampin' up, versifying, memento, and Adirondack earth tones. Now, to be completely honest, I've never been able to get a good impression of with Adirondack inks on anything ever, so um, that didn't surprise me. Here we have uh, Hero Arts midtone ink. An Encore ink, which is a gold type ink pad. A color box chalk ink, which actually gave, in my opinion, the best uh, stamped image. And then I tried embossing. And I ended up using Versamark with charcoal zing, and it didn't really turn out too well. But again, like that Adirondack ink, I've never had a lot of luck with zing embossing powder. So I ended up trying like a Recollections one, which tend to do better for me anyways. And that came out a lot clearer. And... Here is the Prima Chalk ink, the little, you know, blue cat eye style ones, and that stamped pretty clearly as well. Now, it did have a little bit of residue, I'm sure, from the um, Versamark on it, so that probably would help if you wanted to use one of these other style inks, but I would say probably for best results, you would need to use either uh, embossing powder or a Stampin' Up ink or like color box chalk ink. I didn't really test a whole lot of pigment inks. I'm pretty sure Versafine is a pigment ink, but it didn't do too hot either. So, hmm, got mixed feelings about this. I probably wouldn't use it for a sentiment unless it was kind of like a chunky sentiment you were going to emboss. So depending on what the desired look is, it, it, it could work for something. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment telling me, do you think this was a a good move or a good product from Silhouette or you think it's a dud? Um, I'm not really sure yet because I haven't really used it on anything. But anyways, thanks for watching.